well this is really what you call a Simon selfie in so far as we just had a call to an injured fox in Walton on Thames and uh, I will admit that I've had a couple of drinks so I can't drive so my girlfriend is driving the car so we're on our way now it's dark it's raining and I was just about to have my pudding I know he's in the bottom of the hedge here somewhere. Okay. Oh, there he is, right there, look. Got him? Yeah. All right, fella, come on. All right, little fella. Hello, baby. Hello, little baby. How are you doing? You're not very well. Hello, Simon. Hello, mate, who's that? It's David. David, hi, mate. Oh, she's right there, you got her? Yeah, she's right there. She doesn't even need grasping, does she? Have you actually touched her or not? No, I refuse to. Give me a glove, just in case. Yeah. I gave her the brush and she didn't want to move. Right. She's um, lovely. She's in good nick. Yeah. It must be the other leg. So her breathing's OK. She's good and she's just a bit scared. See, look at her. She's lovely. Do you think she's a girl? Oh, she looks like a little girl. That's what you was worried about doing, wasn't it? Come on, baby. No, I do. It's getting bitten by one. It really hurts. Come on. Yeah, oh, I can understand that. She's a bit scared. See, she's wounded on this one leg or the other, near the hip. There, yeah, look. See there. Oh, that's that's what we was worried about. See, she was limping about. Probably a car yeah. or a motorbike. Yeah, nasty wound on there. Yeah. But she's been. I've been feeding her a bit of sausage and cheese and stuff, and right. her. she's had water. Come on, I know. But she. She was in, so basically she's dry. Yeah. Even with all that rubbish, rubbish, rubbish weather that we had. Sure. She's been, and we, we tried to look after her. She's, she oh, was, good. she's not, she, she don't even seem scared. I didn't want to put the big light on her before. But no, we just wanted to catch her obviously and get her yeah, back. And that's what Bridget said. She said, well, we'll try this. And so I said, the England's playing. Oh, for heaven's sake. You're not even dressed to see me. Look at that, you're in your dressing gown. <laughs> You should have seen me about 10 minutes earlier. I don't want to know anymore. Exactly. Far, far I am, too much I am, information. I am dressed to see you. But it's lovely you come out. Because my credit ran out on my phone and, and fortunately uh, Bridget phoned me back. Cool. I have to ask you one thing because we've got cameras okay. on our heads. Hello all. Is it Welcome. okay if we use this for our, our footage? <laughs> well, you look, you look a lot better than I do. Though you haven't got quite as much hair as me. Which gives me encouragement. David, you're a star. Thanks well, very much. Hang on, you're the stars. You're the ones that come out here and... Nah, that's what we do. No right, and he goes to his heart. Poor guy who was in his dressing gown, which is quite interesting, but he didn't care. He wanted to rescue the animal. He cared about the animal. Even dragged him away from his football, but he cared enough to ring us. So we've got the fox. We'll get it back tonight, give it some good food, uh, let the vets look at it tomorrow, and hopefully we can do something for it. Lucy has assured me he's ready to go back to the wild, so first we have to catch our fox, then we have to release him. So that's her legs better. She's been eating like a, a horse, really. She's doing very well. You ready to go home? How are you doing? Well, you've got sort of clothes on tonight. If you like our videos, then subscribe now. It's looking a bit brighter this morning, so it could go ballistic when we try to catch it. Right, come on. Come on in. Okay. Okay. Right. Okay. You bite the glove and everybody's happy. If you think my finger's in there, that's all right with me, because my finger's not.